What's up YouTube? Chuck Wall Observatory here. Uh, in this video we're going to talk about prime focus astrophotography. Now, in one of my earlier videos uh, I kind of touched base on um, prime focus and told you guys that I was getting started in it and I was leaving afocal photography behind. In this video we're going to go a little more in depth. Um, we're going to tell you what accessories you're going to need to attach your, your camera to a telescope. Uh, I'll show you how it all goes together and um, also we'll talk about some general information about the prime focus, some guidelines and some tips that I've kind of picked up along the way. For the past week that's pretty much all I've been doing is just practicing with uh, prime focus. I've had a lot of success and had some failures too. I've learned quite a bit and uh, got a lot to learn. But before we get started, I just want to let you guys take a look at Newton, my cat. You probably remember him from some of the videos that I've done. He's grown up quite a bit, but he's still interested in everything that I do. You did right, buddy. And he's very, very lazy. But I love him. He's my buddy. Alright. So, first part, we'll go ahead and get started with uh, the accessories that you're going to need. Alright. So if you're ready to get in the prime focus, obviously the first thing you're going to need is a telescope, of course. But uh, outside of that, in order to get your camera attached to your telescope, you're going to need a few things. Uh, first off, talking about the camera, this is a Canon uh, Rebel XS, also known as the uh, 1000D outside of North America. Um, prime focus astrophotographers generally use Canon cameras more than other brands because I think they're more astrophotography uh, friendly. But uh, by no means do you have to use a Canon. You can use a Sony or a Nikon or whatever you have. Um, of course, when you're using an SLR camera on its own, you would normally have a lens attached. But uh, for prime focus astrophotography, you're going to remove that lens and attach the uh, camera to the telescope by itself. Uh, basically that turns your telescope into one giant telephoto lens. Um, now to mount your camera to the telescope you're going to need a T-adapter for one which is this thing right here. Um, they come in different shapes and sizes. Some are universal, some are uh, telescope specific like this one here. This one's made specifically from my uh, um, CPC 1100. So you're going to need one of those, <clears throat> and you're going to need a T-ring. Now the T-ring is camera specific. You need to make sure you get one that's made specifically for your brand of camera. For example, this one is made for Canon EOS cameras. It'll fit any of the, uh, the digital Rebel cameras or um, any of the uh, full frame Canon digital SLRs. Uh, basically all it is is just a, uh, on the back side there is a uh, flange that uses the same um, lens format as uh, a normal lens would to uh, connect it to the uh, camera. And then on the other side it's just a threaded ring uh, that you would use to thread on to the T-adapter. So you attach your, cam your, your camera to the uh, T-ring then you attach the T-ring to your T-adapter and then your T-adapter screws onto your telescope and that's how you attach it. Now you may or may not need a, uh, a T-adapter and I'll show you why. This is the one and a quarter inch uh, adapter from my Newtonian telescope. Um, make sure you check your focuser because if it's a two inch focuser like mine does and it has this one and a quarter inch uh, adapter the eyepiece barrel may actually thread off and when you thread off the eyepiece barrel what you're going to have left is the barrel and then this piece here. This piece here will act as a T-adapter. Now you can take your T-ring and mount it directly onto your uh, focuser adapter. So uh, if you have a, a Newtonian with a 2-inch uh, focuser or a refractor with a 2-inch focuser check and make sure um, that the uh, one and a quarter inch adapter doesn't screw off. If it does, you probably won't need a T-adapter. So that's pretty much all there is to uh, attaching the camera to the telescope. Next we'll talk about uh, you know, different focal lengths and what effect that has on prime focus. Okay, I've gone ahead and assembled everything just so I can show you what it looks like. You've got your camera. Attached to your camera is your T-ring. And then uh, 
the T-ring is threaded onto your T-adapter and of course you would thread this onto your telescope. Um, there's no IP, eyepiece involved, so what's going to determine your field of view and what you can photograph this setup? Well, the most important thing is going to be your focal length of your telescope uh, and your focal ratio. If you're using a scope with, um, say, uh, fast optics, say if you have a telescope that's f3 to about f5, you're going to get larger uh, wide field views of uh, whatever you're looking at. If you're using a telescope with a slow focal ratio, you know, long focal length, let's say an SCT around f10 or higher, um, your field of view is going to be smaller, but the, uh, the smaller space objects like uh, smaller galaxies, planetary nebula, and some of the, uh, the smaller uh, regular nebula, you're going to get uh, up close shots of that. Um, so just keep that in mind when you're thinking about doing prime focus because that will determine what you can uh, photograph effectively. Obviously if you have a, a giant nebula and you have a, a long focal length telescope you're not going to be able to fit all that nebula into the field of view. So just keep that in mind. Well, uh, Thanks for watching. Uh, at the end of the video I've got some uh, images that um, I've taken over the past couple weeks this prime focus setup. So enjoy those. If you have any questions, uh, just give me a holler. And I uh, appreciate watching. Thank you very much.